today I'm going to be doing Victor Wooten's Me and My Bass Guitar, or my version of it anyway. Uh, left hand starts out tapping on the 7th fret of the E string, that's a B. And you go to a G sharp on the D string, that's the 6th fret. And then the 7th fret of the D string. And then 7th fret of the A string. And then 5th fret E string. And up a half step. And then up another half step. Okay, and then I'm filling in on the right hand in between there. Uh, I'll play it for you first, then I'll break it down for you. And this can be played straight or swung. Swung, it sounds like this. It's like I was doing it before. Okay, uh, so what the right hand is doing is, instead of using my thumb like Victor does, I'm raking across the G string in, in sort of like what I would imagine like Les Claypool would probably approach because that's the right hand technique I'm a little more comfortable with. So that's all the rake that I'm getting on the G string as I go across. And I'm filling in those spaces. Some of the spaces between the notes in the left hand have two half, two uh, sixteenth notes and some of them have one sixteenth note. So what the right hand is doing is just going to depend on whether it has two or one. Uh, left, down, up, left, down, up, left, down, left, up, down, left, up, down, left, up, left, down, up, and it repeats. about this is incorporating the tapping of the chord in the right hand. So you got a, a B here in the power chord of that B, the 5 on the, on the octave, right here on the 16th fret. And then you have the minor 7, minor 3rd, up a minor 3rd from that on the 19th fret. Okay. So the way I'm going to incorporate this is I'm going to tap those two strings, the G and the D, on the 19th fret at the same time I'm doing the left hand. And then I have to pull off of that note to get the first uh, strum of the right hand. Okay. And then this one is, again, tapping with both at the same time on 16. Excuse me. Yeah. Sometimes you got to start it from the beginning to earn the right to play it. Okay. Not the cleanest I've ever done it, but uh, that's how I approach that and have fun with that one as well. See you later.